Right, causality. Let's go. Causality is an intrinsically built-in part of the universe. Why? Because if you go past the speed of light, you break causality. You cannot break causality, and thus nothing goes past the speed of light. I don't know what exactly it is that specifically prevents this. Uh, you'll have to ask someone cleverer than I am, like a physicist or something, or read up on the many books, uh, Brian Cox's books, those kind of things. Anyway, but intrinsically, what you've got is a cause and an effect. And now the cause always has to come before the effect. If the effect is after the cause, then uh, that doesn't work, because you would have been... Uh, and pfft. Basically, if your effect comes before your cause, then that could be interrupted, and you could not do the cause that caused the effect in the first place after the effect has occurred. Uh, you, you see the effect, you don't like the effect, so you prevent the cause, and the effect didn't happen, and then there's... and everything blows up. So, yeah, that's. I hope that's cleared everything up with that. When we have these theistic debates, we get someone like William Lane Craig saying something along the lines of everything that began to exist must have a cause. Now we all know that there's issues with that, but what I'll be addressing here is the way that's applied uh, when he takes it outside into his supernatural realm of the, the before big banginess. And uh, it's where the, his entire argument just falls apart and collapses into a singularity and explodes and covers everyone in blue paint. I have no idea what I'm talking about. You might be seeing uh, a, a link between all these concepts, and that link is time. Basically, cause comes before effect. Before is property of time. Cause, some time passes, effect. That's how it works. You need time for causality. Causality relies upon time. What did we not have preceding the Big Bang? Bearing in mind that the Big Bang is responsible for space and time. There's the clue. Wink, wink. Time! Hooray! You're so clever! So now I've got a pretty big issue for anyone asking the question of what caused the Big Bang in the first place. Because, by its very definition, Cause doesn't have any meaning before you have time. In fact, before doesn't have any meaning if you don't have time. It's impossible to say before the Big Bang, because before itself is an application of time. It's You require a line of time in order to say something's before another thing. It's like saying what's north of north. Well, there's nothing north of the North Pole, because that's where north ceases. You can't have what what's longer than length, what's above height. It's it's a nonsensical thing to, to ask what was, what came before time. So the problem this presents then is without time, how do you have cause effect? How does that correlate together? And this is why we say that the laws that we're aware of originate within within the Big Bang and before that preceding the Big Bang, these laws wouldn't obviously didn't occur because the physics was different if the physics was there at all. We, we just cannot comprehend what it was that was going on at that point in the universe. It doesn't make any sense to extrapolate any kind of logical or physical laws from what we understand here to something preceding like the, the very fabric of what we experience as in space and time. That's the only things we've got to work with when formulating what we understand here. So, when someone like William Lane Craig comes along and says, what caused the Big Bang? Well, literally nothing, because causality could not have been a thing that applies to that period. So I think that pretty much completely puts to rest any idea of a first cause or prime mover that was responsible for everything coming because you just intrinsically need time for that argument to work and time just wasn't something that was around. The basic thing I'm trying to get across is that when we did not have time there's nothing we can understand about that that will make any kind of comprehensive sense to our minds so there is no reason to then speculate and apply human characteristics to some first cause god creator thing. That's basically all I wanted to get across there.